Now that everybody's working from home, companies probably will need a phone system connecting all members at the same time with easy and quick setup. Yaystar Cloud PBX provides businesses with the cloud-based business phone system to unify the whole team together without maintaining on-site equipment. With Link Soft Phone, employees can transfer their mobile and desktops into office extensions to make business calls and have all communications features at hand. That's the office is wherever you want it to be. With this intuitive web GUI, you can easily set up the phone system and get it running in a few minutes. How to get your Cloud PBX? Just visit our website and sign up for the 90 day free version. Fill in all the necessary information and submit your application. Your Cloud PBX will be ready for you in a minute. An activation mail will also be sent to your mailbox, including detailed information of the PBX. Go and check your mailbox for the activation mail. And next, we will provide you quick and simple instructions for configuring Yaster Cloud PBX. After you finish the basic settings, your employees will be able to make internal calls to each other and deal with incoming and outgoing calls. Let's check this out. Click to log in. On the first time logging, please set a valid email address as the username and considering system security, customize a strong password. After these settings, we will be locked out of the system automatically. Up here, choose a proper language. Just log into the system with new account information. Well, here we are. For your quick start, we've designed a configuration wizard with which you can finish basic settings centrally, step by step, in a few minutes. Now let's get started. First, set the time according to your local time. Now we could select the time zone for our location in this drop down list and choose whether to enable daylight saving time here. Click on next, and now we're gonna create extensions for our employees. By system default, all extension numbers fall in this range. If you wanna redefine it, go to settings, then general, click on preference and change the range here. Now let's get back to the configuration wizard. Click on Add, a window pops out with all parameters generated already. We can keep it like this or change the extension number, caller ID, caller ID name, and other user information as we want. Find a valid mailbox with the user. So the user will receive welcome email from the PBX. Click on Save and Apply. Besides, it is also available for bulk adding extensions here. Say we create 10 more users, enter the number here all users created. Then, customize each user's personal information one by one. After that, let's send welcome emails to all extension users. If you'd prefer, click here to modify email subjects and contents. Check our design extension and click on Next. Emails will be sent. All right, let's move on to configure the Lancus software. Extension users can use Lancus on the Android, iOS, Windows, as well as macOS. Lancus login information has been sent in the welcome email. Users can download Lancus mobile client from App Store or Google Play and install Lancus desktop client on Windows or Mac by clicking the link here. Once finished, users can activate their own Lancus. Let's finish the PBX settings first. We will show you settings on the Lancus soft phone later. As an alternative, the IP phone is also supported. You can register the devices by auto-provisioning app or register phones manually with the server information here. To make phone calls, we need to add chunks. We need to confirm the relevant information with our service provider and type it in. There are two methods to finish the basic settings. One is to create a templated zip chunk and the other is to create a generic SIP trunk. It depends on the ITSP your SIP trunk is applied from. If your ITSP is listed, you can create a templated SIP trunk with pre-configured settings. If you can't find your trunk providers, you can create a generic SIP trunk with all parameters to be configured manually. Click on Save and Apply, 
A new chunk has been successfully added just now. Now we have channels for communication. Usually we're supposed to create rules for inbound and outbound calls. But on the free version, for your easy use, we've got things down already. That is to say, now we can smoothly make and receive calls. Click on finish, and just don't forget to reboot the PBX to make all modifications take effect. If you still want to customize the routing rules, go to call control, in outbound routes, Click on Edit, and you can customize the default route. Reselect the trunks and extensions. Only those selected will be permitted to make outgoing calls. So don't forget to click on Save and Apply if any changes have been made. We can also add new rules if necessary. Configuring inbound routes to route incoming calls would be in a similar way. Go to Inbound Route and click on Edit. Trucks in the selected column can be applied in this route. All incoming calls will be guided to our design destination here. Click on Add and you can add more inbound routes to the list as well. If you want to contact our team directly, we've got a shortcut for you. Click this icon in the PBX and you will be able to chat with our team immediately. Okay. That was all for the Cloud PBX part. Let's turn to the Linkus part. For the first time logging, we offer you an easy way. Open the activation mail, we can find a login QR code and a login link. Open the Linkus mobile client and scan the QR code, while copying the link to the Linkus desktop client. Now, we can join convenient call experience and powerful collaboration features with Linkus Software. First, customize personal settings. Click the icon and add it. We can set the personal profile image by using a local pick. Personal contact information is also customizable. In presence, select a proper presence type. Five types are available. Set call for warning destinations accordingly. By system default, calls will be forwarded to voicemail when we happen to miss a call or miss a call when we're busy. Down here, since we have more than one device sharing the same extension number, we can define the order to answer an incoming calls. Any changes made, remember to save and apply. Next, contact our colleagues. In extensions, we can view the presence of our users and decide how to contact them. Say we try to contact this user. We can make a call directly to start a chat. Click the button to make a call. During the call, we can perform multiple tasks, hold, use the dial pad, mute or unmute the call, transfer the call in two ways, and enable one-touch recording to record important content. Finish the call, we can check the recording right here and play it. In chat, we can send instant message to a single user or start a group chat. Click the icon and add users to the same group. As you can see, useful features are available, sending emojis, taking a screenshot, sending files of pictures or other documents. Besides, all chat history can be viewed here. How about making outgoing calls to our customers? Well, go to call locks. We can dial the number to call out right beside the dial pad. We can check all the call history. When incoming calls reach our extension, click to answer the call. If we missed the call and a voicemail is left, just view and listen to it here. Well, actually, we can benefit more. This app also supports CRM integration to extend more features. Just click on the button, choose CRM integration. We can integrate the Linka software with these CRM systems. Once the integration works, we will have a few features like click to call, call pop up, and call journal synchronization to increase communication efficiency with our customers. All right, guys, that was all we have for today's video. Thanks for watching. For a more detailed configuration guide, Please refer to Yaster Cloud PBX user manual and Lancus user manual. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you guys in the next one.